12 years ago, the lost sound of the castrato reached an international audience with the release of the blockbuster film Farinelli. The film had to convincingly recreate the voice of the world's greatest castrato. To do this, scientists at Iacam in Paris painstakingly spliced together the voices of a soprano and a countertenor, giving the higher notes to the woman's voice and the lower to the man's. But how successful was it? They looked at it pretty well note by note, and joining the notes together is not a trivial exercise at all, because you've got to get all the levels right, and it's got to sound as if it works together, the consonants have to be lined up. So a huge job and a very satisfactory outcome, I think, in terms of a film soundtrack. Yeah, but completely different from what we think a castrato really was, because we have a female voice at the top end and a falsetto voice at the bottom end, and the castrato voice was neither of those things. Absolutely. You could argue that um, actually putting a female voice anywhere near a castrato is a, sli is a rather strange thing to do. So for this film, using all the resources of contemporary acoustic science, David Howard is going to develop a new method of recreating a castrato voice. At one level, trying to synthesize the castrato voice is one of those endless experiments that never stops. Because unlike most scientific investigation, we don't know what the final sound should sound like. Imagine a voice that combines the sweetness of the flute with the animated suavity of the human larynx. A voice that leaps and leaps lightly and spontaneously, like a lark that flies through the air and is intoxicated His with its own supernaturally breath. beautiful voice cannot be compared with that of any woman. There can be no fuller and he more beautiful tone. He sang with the tone. purity of a bell, up to E above the treble stage. His amazing swell from pianissimo to an almost unbelievable degree of sonority. Now, whether we ever get the computer to produce a sound which will engage with my soul and I will suddenly swoon at the desk, I think is unlikely. But I suspect I might get a sense of when we're moving towards it. The peculiar physiology of the castrati, of course, allowed them to do things with their voices that no other singer could do. It was one of Farinelli's arias which has a phrase that lasts for just under a minute. In part of that phrase, notes are going past at the rate of 1,000 per minute. And really, no other voice could keep up with that.